My name is Carmen Carolina Corchado. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, and I fight out of King Thai boxing. Um, what I love about fighting is the one time I can really get everything uh, that I hold inside of me out. I've been through a lot of things in my life ever since I was little and never really did anything about it. Um, and when I fight, that's the one time I can make someone pay for it. Um, so as a female fighter, I've kind of gotten uh, the both, both sides of the experience. Um, I have people who are super supportive about uh, of it. Um, people who think it's like super cool to be a, a female fighter. And then um, when it comes to males and men, um, they kind of think like me being a woman uh, and being aggressive, it kind of intimidates them and threatens them. But if anything, that just fuels me more to be a better fighter and to be an aggressive fighter. Um, what you can expect tonight um, is me just really putting all my heart and soul into the fight. Um, Muay Thai really is my life. I, I train a lot. It's what I do in and out. Um, and I'm a Muay Thai fighter. I don't do MMA. I don't do kickboxing. I don't do any of that. Muay Thai really is my life. And I'm going to put all of that out into the fight and um, win the belt. Well, that's Carmen Corchado. That's Carmen Corchado out of King's Thai Boxing in New York City, the Bushwick, Brooklyn native. Right now, it's her opponent making her way into the ring first, Charles E. Maynard, a Anderson, South Carolina native. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape between these two women who are about to do battle for a 125-pound title from the ISKA. Primo Bellarosa, curious about your thoughts because Carmen Corchado, a very decisive advantage in terms of experience in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as uh, wins and losses, uh, Carmen Corchado is 11 and one. Charles Emanor is two and one. Charles Emanor has also had some MMA fights, three and zero in MMA. So really, her overall record is five and one. That makes things a little bit closer. But uh, you know, we've we've seen Charles Emanor fight before, and she's a tough girl who hits hard. 21-year-old Maynard coming up from small town Anderson, South Carolina, trying to make another impression under the bright lights of New York City against Brooklyn's own Carmen Corchado. For the introductions, here's Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action to decide the ISKA full rules Muay Thai title in the 125-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, She's wearing the gray and pink trunks and weighing in at 126. Representing Sit Kwang Tong with a 3-0 record. From Anderson, South Carolina, Charles E. Maynard. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, she's wearing the black and white trunks, weighing in at 126. She represents King's Thai Boxing. With a record of 11 and 1 from Bushwick, Brooklyn, Carmen Corchado. Okay, you both know your rules. Give me a good clean fight, defend yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out back. Well, icy glares between these two female warriors, Carmen Corchado and Charles E. Maynard. About to do battle, as many as five rounds, at 125 pounds for the ISKA Full Rules Muay Thai title belt. Again, Carmen Corchado on the left side of your screen in the black and white apparel. 11 and one coming into action tonight. Charles E. Maynard at two and one in Muay Thai. Three and oh as an MMA fighter. She's wearing the gray top and pink and black trunks. And immediately a firefight breaking out. Corchado coming forward here. Yeah, Chelsea Maynard touched gloves and went right for it. Corchado is not a backwards fighter, so she will oblige if you want to get into a firefight. Chelsea Maynard has scored a knockout here on Friday Night Fights. That was back in uh, February of last year. That was, pardon me, that was her debut. Then in April, she scored a knockout victory to go to 2-0, lost her last fight. And now a big step up in competition for Charlesy here as she takes on the seasoned Carmen Corchado in a title bout. Charlesy's making a nice showing of herself here right in the beginning. She uh, she just landed a head kick 
on Corchado a minute ago. She throws a real sneaky lead leg head kick. But then Corchado, Primo, got in two straight right hands, look like to the left eye of Charles E. Maynard, an immediate rending on Maynard's face. Yeah, you can see you can see the change. Oh, that punch hurt. Charles E. Maynard just lost her balance. She got on skates there for a second. Corchado starting to open up here. Yep. You can see the change on Corchado's face. All business. But Maynard. Keeping her composure, fighting her off with some teeps, but here's Corchado with the punch combination. That right hand of Corchado's is really having an effect. There's swelling under the eye of Charles E. Maynard right now, and you can see that it's, it's stunning Maynard every time it hits. Carmen Corchado eats a right hand from Maynard, but fires and one back. You see, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until Corchado lands a hard right hand, and then it changes everything. Final 10 seconds here, round number one. Maynard taking all kinds of punishment here. There's that sneaky lead head kick again from Maynard. It, it landed on Corchado. Corchado is tough, she'll just bear down and keep going. But if it lands just right, it will take Corchado out. And that's one thing about Carmen. Her offense is her defense, Primo, but she will stand and trade, and she does leave herself open to return fire. Absolutely. I mean, she is, she is perfectly willing to take one to give one, uh, she's she's not a evasive fighter. Like you said, her, her defense is her offense. She's a very, very forward fighter. And got to give a lot of respect to Charles E. Maynard here, Primo, because you know she's in enemy territory right now. This, whole, this hometown crowd loves Carmen Corchado. They love her action fights that she puts on time after time. Absolutely. Charles E. Maynard has no friends in the house other than her corner right now. And she's given a hell of a fight. There's that right hand. If you watch, when, when Corchado hits that right hand, she'll throw a one-two and it'll do well, but she throws a little slap hook into that cross, and when that cross hit it, it hits hard. And that was an action-packed first round. We have as many as four left, but I don't know if these women want to go that far. Both of them capable of ending the action early. We're live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom. We are watching a championship matchup at 125 pounds between Carmen Corchado in the black, green, and white against Charles E. Maynard in the gray top and pink and black trunks. Ariel Lagami with Primo Bellarosa watching a firefight erupt between Corchado and Maynard. Yeah, Corchado hasn't slowed down yet. She's throwing everything in combination. We're not seeing just one punch from her. Everything is two and three punches and then right back on a couple more punches. Corchado. Maynard has excellent uh, balance, though. Every time Corchado has caught a kick, Maynard has caught her balance, stayed standing, stayed in the fight. Swelling on the left eye of Charles E. Maynard, evidence of a strong first round from Corchado and Carmen picking up where she left off. The spinning back And that kick. was close. We've seen Maynard go to that in her previous fights with effectiveness, but Corchado has read the book on Charles E. Maynard. She was ready. Both eyes now swelled on Charles Lee Maynard. Corchado firing a leg kick, then a punch combo. That was a hard right hand. And if you watch Corchado, she'll throw a hard one too, and when that cross hits, she'll double up on it, because she's already right in there. And that's how you get judges' attention. Yeah. No one and dones for Corchado. See, she doubled up on it again. Roundhouse left and then a right from Corchado. And Maynard's hanging tough in there. Corchado. Oh, there's no, there's no give up in Maynard at all. I mean, she, she's losing for sure. There's blood coming out of the nose now, but she's still actually in the fight. As for the ISKA 125 pound title belt, full rules Muay Thai at the Class B level. Carmen Corchado. Already the reigning 125 pound Friday night fights champion looking to take another piece of hardware back home to Kings Thai Boxing in New York. And she's done a little bit of everything so far, ducking out of the way of that. Yeah, that there, was the, there was that spinning back kick right there. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, Maynard has managed to throw up a, a, a lead left high kick that's landed a couple times. I didn't think Corchado was gonna get out of the way of, of that spinning heel kick. And it was right on target. Corchado gave a little lean back. Might have saved her life right there. We saw a little bit earlier on Corchado's teammate, Jay Rodriguez, pick up a championship belt with a third round TKO victory over John Velasquez. So 
Carmen Corchado has a chance to make it a banner night for Aaron, the Ghost Fisher, and company. If she can win this championship belt against Charles E. Maynard, who comes out with a leaping front kick to begin round three. Maynard representing the Sitquan Tong Jim in Anderson, South Carolina. Her trainer is Blake Rice. We've seen two impressive performances from her earlier in her career, last year on this promotion, but so far tonight, it's been Corchado and a lot of it. Nice knee from Corchado. She threw a couple punches. Once she got in close, threw a nice left knee to the liver. Now Maynard maybe trying to change up the game plan here. It might not be a bad idea to stop sitting and trading with Corchado in the middle of the ring. Well, you can see that she's trying to dance, trying to throw kicks, trying to keep things at distance. She really does have nice kicks, but Corchado just, just won't be denied right now. Overhand right and inside elbow try by Maynard met with about four or five punches from Corchado and a monster left hand finds the jaw of Maynard there. An amazing thing about Corchado, not paying much attention to the body, she doesn't seem to need it. No, no, I've, I've seen her I've seen her go to the body before, but I, I, I think that right now, uh, she's got Maynard hurt a little bit visually. You know, she's got the eyes swelling up, there's blood coming out of the nose, and uh, you know, she's just, she's seeing an end in sight, so she's just staying right on it. There's that low kick. More blood starting to come out of that nose of Charles E. Maynard as Corchado continues to close ground. Final seconds of action here in round three. Live Muay Thai action from New York City. Thudding outside leg kick for Corchado. Again, Charles E. Maynard comes up empty on the spinning back kick, and you can see just dejected as she goes back to her corner. Yeah, you can tell. Like I said, I mean, she, she's in the fight, but she's losing the fight, and she's losing each round pretty handily. And the damage she's taking Understandably, Primo, it's just slowing down her returns. I mean, usually, Charles Lee Maynard's in control of her fights, but she's taking so much heat from Corchado. When she spins around with that kick, Corchado's not there waiting for her. Yeah, yeah, Corchado's doing a really good job. You'll watch her. She, she pushes forward, pushes forward. Maynard makes some space and tries to throw a kick. Right there. Corchado just leans back a little bit and then is right back to moving forward again. That was a nice up elbow from Maynard right there, but Corchado comes back, hits her three, four times. So we are through three rounds of a scheduled five with a championship belt hanging in the balance at the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Carmen Corchado has been in command so far as she looks to improve her record to 12 and one. Leaping front kick try again from Charles E. Maynard to open this round, this fourth round. But the blood continues to pour from those nostrils. The Sneaky end. head kick again from Maynard right there. Just didn't land with any real effect. Just 21 years of age is Charles E. Maynard. Her first appearance on Friday Night Fights last February was her first trip to New York. Now she's been up here three times. And this by far her toughest opponent to date. And that blood on Carmen Corchado's forehead does not belong to her. No, that was a nice turn for Corchado. Nice spinning elbow out of the clinch. Looks like it caught Charles E. Maynard on the ear. Yeah, definitely or behind did. the ear. See spatters of blood on Corchado's face. That all from the nose of Maynard. Charles, he tries the head kick, no go once again. That Corchado thought about a little body combo there. Now Maynard tying her up, finally, side headlock. Nice Corch attempt at a dump from Corchado right there. Maynard manages to keep her, her balance and come right back in for the fight. And this is just a clinic right now, Primo. You know, Charles E. Maynard's a fantastic athlete. She's just a hair slow tonight against Corchado. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I. Uh, again, you know, this is a lot like oh, one of our, like one of our other fights earlier where, uh, you know, Corchado is, is winning every round and Maynard does not look good right now in the face. But, but she really is tough and she's really in this fight. She's just losing. 
And you wonder if this is one of those, those learning experience fights for a young fighter, Primo. Again, Charles E. Mater, he's already had five fights. This is, pardon me, this is our seventh fight. He's 3-0 in MMA, 2-1 in Muay Thai. This is our fourth Muay Thai fight, seventh fight overall. But at just 21, she's got a long way to go, long way to go, long way to grow inside the squared circle. And right now, she's just getting a lesson from from the teacher right now. Yeah, Chelsea Maynard has has uh, has a I believe a long career in front of her at this point. She you know she'll take this, she'll learn from it, she'll get better. And know? right there, oh, behind the ear. For Carmen Corchado, that spinning back elbow primo. That yeah, was that's vicious. fantastic. I tell people a lot, you know, when you're when you start to get turned around in the clinch or you start to get out and you're turned around, throw that spinning elbow. That's that's really, in my opinion, the time to throw it. Unreal fortitude by Charles E. Maynard. I mean, Carmen Corchado has just been out of her mind on point tonight through four rounds, and Charles Charles E. Maynard eating it up. So here we go, round five. Charles E. is gonna need to do something dramatic here to win her championship belt and take it back home to Sip Wan Tong in Anderson, South Carolina. Yeah, Chelsea Maynard need, needs to land a head kick to win this fight. It's Carmen Corchado on the attack again. Bang, bang, bang with the leather. And there's a plow forward from Charles E. Maynard. That got Corchado's attention. Give Charles E. Maynard all the credit in the world. She is bloodied and battered, but she keeps on fighting. Yeah, that's one. You know, Chelsea Maynard will hit that lead jab. Corchado will eat it and throw three punches that land. Oh, wow, that was a nice kick. The signature spinning back heel kick from Maynard does find the home. Yeah, that was a nice kick. That landed behind the behind the ear of Corchado. She stayed jumping kick into the face. Man, Corchado is just tough. Just, and then a spinning back fist that landed. That actually landed with the wrist. That's even harder. All of those, all those, those two kicks to the head and that spinning back fist all landed. Corchado just isn't going anywhere. Maynard reaching down for something extra here. Oh, she tried that spinning back kick one more time. This time, Carmen ducks away. Overhand right for Maynard. What fortitude being shown by Charles E. Maynard. Incredible. Yeah, and, and Corchado just won't be denied. The, she's landed three good shots. Big Four good shots. That one, and another spinning back kick. Jesus Christ, watch this. Unbelievable. Charles E. Maynard saving her best for last. Oh, my five. God. I'm so glad they didn't stop this fight. Incredible And, and Corchado stuff. will not be denied. Any one of those shots would have taken out, and a spinning elbow. Any one of those shots would have taken out a lesser fighter. And Corchado's just not having it tonight. What a marvelous performance from both of wow. these young women tonight. Wow, ladies. A standing O for my broadcast partner, Primo Bellarosa. Wow. After simply spectacular 10 minutes of action at 125 pounds. So often we see the, the, the ladies provide us with the fight of the night, and this could be it. I, I'm sure we are still to see tremendous action between Pavel Zawistowski and Vince McGinnis, and then after that, that was amazing. Sammy Mongonia and Tarana Sanoff, but it's going to be hard to top what we Holy just saw. Cow. What we saw that between Corchado and Maynard. That was amazing. Charles Maynard just took a beating for about four rounds, and then saved the best for last. Literally, came out. I, she might have won the fifth she round. Has, you have to give her that fifth round, Primo. And, I really and the hope the toughness she got that of Corchado round. to keep that mean forward pace up over four rounds get clocked with the stuff that Maynard was throwing in the fifth and just keep coming forward. Corchado didn't even break rhythm in that fifth round. In the ring right now, the New York State Director of the ISKA, Tom Sconzo, with hardware in hand. Carmen Corchado and Charles E. Maynard go the distance for the official decision. We go to Connor Hall. Give it up. Woo. After five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge A sees this 46-49. Judge B sees this 45-50. Judge C sees this 46-49. In a unanimous decision in favor of Carmen 
Corchado. So another title fight and another piece of hardware for the Kings Thai boxing team. Carmen Corchado, now a two-time champion on Friday Night Fights. She wins the ISK A belt here tonight. And she already holds the Friday Night Fights belt in that weight class after just a scintillating performance over five rounds against Charles E. Maynard. It doesn't get much better than that, Primo. Yeah, what an incredible performance from Corchado. I mean, like I said, Charles E. Maynard made a real showing of herself tonight. But look at Corchado. Look at the excitement on her face. That was a phenomenal just, I'm going to tuck my chin. I'm going to move forward in every minute of every round, and I'm going to win this fight. Amazing. Carmen